peace and love libras peace and love and welcome to my channel ratchet oracle 22 this is going to be your weekly channel message for the week of december 17th through december 23rd i do hope that this message finds you all in peace love and prosperity i'm gonna um clear out the energy really quick make sure y'all hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when these readings are posted this week i am not using oracle or tarot tarot cards i am um channeling messages from spirit um and at the end i'll pull a couple clarifiers that's about it all right I am going to go ahead and jump right into this reading, okay? I'm getting something about the mouth or the teeth, okay? Um, someone could be wanting to get some cosmetic dental work done. So for some of you Libras, this is just, this is not like a problem with your mouth. You, not like a, a health problem. You just want to maybe get veneers or... Um, something like that. Some of you could actually um, be dealing with like gingivitis or periodontal disease or something of the sorts. Some of you could have um, impacted wisdom teeth or you could be needing to get a tooth pulled. Someone could have an infected tooth in their mouth. Um, you know how it gives off a very bad smell. So this could either be you or someone that you're dealing with. Okay. Um, that really needs to just get to the dentist and get a tooth pulled, okay? Um, I feel like there is this push-pull type energy when it comes to you and someone else, okay? I feel like there could be someone in your life that you can't fully get away from, okay? It's like when you pull away, they pull you back in, okay? Uh, when you push them away, and then they feel a pull to come back into you. So there's something about pushing and pulling and um, some type of energy that's kind of intertwined with each other that is kind of hard to let go of, okay? Um, what is that song? So much pain in my soul. It's so hard to let go. Okay, I don't know who that is. I believe that's like Chris or Marquise or somebody. I don't know. Y'all have to look it up. But the name Chris or Marquise or Marcus um, could be significant here. Or Libra, when I see Marcus or Marquise, I'm seeing Mars, okay? Libra, you could there could be something going on with an Aries or a Scorpio, okay? Mars-type energy. Um, or even when I see Chris, I think of Chris Cross, okay? So like a tie. There is, could be like a very strong karmic tie um, that you are attached to that you know is unhealthy or you know is not good for you, but you are having a hard time processing and letting it go. Especially if this involves an Aries or a Scorpio, okay? Um... But I am seeing Chris, Christopher, Christina, Marcus, Marquise, um, somebody within uh, those names, okay? I feel, Libra, as if some of you may be needing some form of protection, okay? Um, if you are sexually active you may need to just make sure you are doing that with the right person okay make sure this is someone that you trust okay and make sure that you're just protecting yourself okay if this has nothing to do with that then this could be just this energy of um you needing to protect yourself meaning stay out of things that you know are not good for you okay protect your energy don't indulge in or get yourself involved in things or get yourself involved with people that you know. It's like you know, but I feel like 
Libra. It, it kind of reminds me of that song um, with Rod Wade when he says, I kept dancing with the devil. I can't be mad. I got burned. It's like something about the bad guy or the, what's bad for you or the bad energy just entices you or something. I don't know what this is about Libra, but it's like um, you, you get a thrill or something out of that type of energy okay and like rod wave said you know if you keep dancing with the devil you can't be mad if you end up getting burned okay so take that however it resonates because i feel like there's something that you're doing that you probably know you shouldn't be doing okay or someone that you're doing it with that you know you shouldn't be doing it with or something that you're indulging in okay this could be um, something that you like to do for fun. This could be whatever, okay? But it's like, if you keep playing Russian roulette with your life, okay? That's what I'm really getting here. If you continue to, to play Russian roulette with your life, you can't be mad when it finally ends in a way that you can't come back from, okay? So take however that resonates, it's gonna resonate with each of you in a different way, but just make sure you're taking care of yourself, okay? Make sure you are, like, value your life, okay? Don't put other people in, don't put fun and happiness and good times above your life and your health, okay? Because you are the most important person in your life. Now, you may make other people feel as if they are more important to you because there's this need to hold on and attach yourself to people because you may have daddy issues or something going on here where your dad wasn't in your life or you and your dad just have this weird connection, okay? Or your dad could have been like this bad boy type energy. So it's like you're attracting your your parent or your dad in every person that you meet, okay? Whether you're male or female. But it's like you you are it's important for you to understand that you are the most important person in your life okay and as soon as i said life i thought of the movie um who is that that's martin lawrence and you see how that mars is coming up again and martin lawrence and mars and then law okay i uh, libra you whatever you're doing you might want to be careful okay because you could be playing a dangerous game okay it, it reminds me at the end of the Matrix movie when the architect came out and he spoke to the Oracle and he said that was a dangerous game that you played, okay? So when I see Mars and the word Martin and then I see the word Law and Lawrence, okay, I feel like you could be doing something that's going to get you in trouble, either spiritual law or the, the court of law, okay, in the Matrix world. Or you could be getting yourself tied up with someone, okay, and this person may not be a law-abiding citizen, okay? This person might be used to doing criminal activities or used to breaking all the rules and breaking all the laws, okay? And you don't want to get mixed up in that. Or some of you could just be dealing with someone who's already in trouble with the law, okay? Mars is war-type energy, okay? It's just too much negativity. But um, I'm, when I see Martin, some of you could be dealing with the Martin as well, okay? I'm seeing Martin Lawrence. Um, who else was the other person? It was Eddie Murphy, okay? Eddie Murphy. So something about an Ed, Eddie, Edwin, Edwina, okay? ED, okay? Someone could be dealing with erectile dysfunction or something of, like some type of lesson you might face this week because ED reminds me of education as well, okay? So I don't know what that is. Eddie Murphy, okay? And then there was a cartoon that I remember from back in the day, Ed, Eddie and Ed or something like that. So someone could have grew up watching that cartoon or someone could definitely have split personalities, okay? Or you could be running in groups of threes, okay? I don't know what this is about three people, okay? You could be a part of this love triangle, or you could be a part of something going on that involves two other people. But I don't know. I feel like it's not necessarily going to end well. And you may need to get yourself out before it goes bad. Okay. 
I don't know, this could be some type of warning before destruction, okay? Um, someone could be eating um, Edie's ice cream or something like that, okay? But stop playing Russian roulette with your life. Even when I just said Russian, it took me back to Brittany Griner, who happens to be a Libra, might I ask, who like one wrong move she didn't even really do nothing okay she just got caught up one wrong move cost her like 10 months of her life in a russian prison okay so you're either dealing with someone who has got out of prison or someone who's in prison or you need to get your act together because you might end up in spiritual prison or um someone you're attached to could go to jail or prison or there's something about that and then I'm getting Kevin Gates. Um, I'm a prisoner of my own mind. I feel like these walls talking to me. I feel like these walls talking to me. I'm a prisoner of my own mind. So Libra, some of you could just be too much in your head. Okay. And some of you could be being distracted by children in the background. Some of you could have kids that are distracting you from your work. But Libra, you could like be in your mind a lot or in your head a lot about something, okay? It's like, I don't know, or you're allowing something or someone to live rent-free in your head or something's keeping you stuck. But I feel like this could be like more of a mental imprisonment and a mental stuckness. Okay, because in the song with Kevin Gates, he says, I feel like these walls talking to me. I'm a prisoner of my own mind. All right, Kevin Gates is an Aquarius. Someone could have an attachment with an Aquarius or you could have um, Aquarius highly expected in your chart. Okay, or you someone could be dealing with a Kevin, a Kev, Kenneth, something with a K. Okay, um, when I see gates, I get portal type energy, okay? So there there could be an opportunity for you to get yourself to free yourself, okay? There's an opportunity coming up, Libra, to free yourself. And if you really want to be free from whatever this imprisonment is or wherever you feel stuck, it's like you're going to have to take advantage of this opportunity that comes your way, okay? Um... When I see Kevin, it takes me to the movie Home Alone with Kevin Macaulay Calkin. Okay, all these M's. So you could your initial could be M, or you could be dealing with someone with the initial M. Okay, um, someone could be an ass to have some addictions here. Okay, because I do know he ended up like just being very addicted. Okay, so someone could be not dealing with childhood traumas or processing it in the right way and overindulging in drug sex or alcohol or something like that okay or someone could be feeling very lonely or either you don't want to let go of someone or something because you feel like without this person or thing that you're going to be lonely okay um that's what i'm getting from home alone something could be happening around christmas time when it comes to you and family or someone that you love okay because remember in the movie home alone um somehow kevin always got left behind okay uh, around it was always christmas and for that movie to come up right before christmas time what is this like six days before christmas um something could be happening in the next six days for you you could um be going through a separation or either a reunification okay or if you were separated okay because remember kevin got separated for um from his family but then in the end they were reunited so either you're going to separate from someone because you are meant to reunite with someone else or either you have already separated from someone 
um and this could be someone that you, you were a part of like a soul family with and then you're gonna reunite with them if you've already separated you could be reuniting around christmas time or you could hear from someone that you haven't heard from in a while around christmas time there's some type of reunification okay where it's kind of like things are being scattered apart in your life things are falling apart or seemingly falling apart okay because you kind of need to put yourself back together or life needs to put you back together where you are needed to be or where you are intended to be and it kind of reminds me of Humpty Dumpty, okay? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king horsemen, all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So it's kind of like, I don't know, Libra, you could be waiting on someone or depending on someone else to put your life back together for you or provide you with the clues or the pieces to put your life back together. And maybe it's kind of like, it's not the king's job you know it's not if you're a woman and you're looking for a relationship to kind of put you back together it's not the king's men's job okay it's not other people's job to put you back together it's up to you to figure out where you're supposed to be and begin the process of putting yourself back together okay so i feel like something is definitely falling apart okay I don't know this whole sitting on the wall and then we got kevin gates i feel like these walls talking to me someone could have blocked you or put up this wall okay um and kind of ghosted you or kind of blocked you out of their life or leave where this is you maybe you've been hurt so much where you're not truly letting people in or maybe you let all the wrong people in but you won't give the right people a chance okay something about this wall going up okay um when I think of the wall, I, I, it reminds me of um, the Game of Thrones where the White Walkers or wherever, whatever they were called were like coming over the wall, okay? So, I don't know. This could be a cold December, ride wave, lonely cold December, okay? Um, Sister Soldier, the coldest winter ever, okay? Something could be taking place around... Um, Christmas time or before the end of this year, okay, that really um, kind of just puts you in this energy of feeling like Kevin in Home Alone, left behind. You know, Kevin really thought his family didn't care about him, okay? So I don't know, maybe you're in this victim mindset. Maybe you don't realize your own ways and your own choices. Maybe you're looking at the things that other people have done to you and you're feeling a bit down on yourself, okay? But definitely expect a shakeup in your energy and in your world around um, Christmas time, okay? Um, like I said, if you're in separation, expect a reconciliation or a reunification with someone around Christmas time. This could be a family member that you haven't seen in a long time. But I feel like this is more of soul family type energy where it's like a, someone that you were in a family with in another life, okay? And if you're not in separation, then expect for something to fall apart around Christmas time, okay? And even Christmas has... Chris in it, okay? Chris, Chris cross to make you jump, jump. So something could catch you off guard, okay? Um, yeah, when I see that jump, I'm getting like a jump scare, okay? Something could definitely catch you off guard and have you in your feelings a little bit, Libra, okay? Yeah, lonely cold December. You can just, it's a holiday time. If you're single, you could just be in that energy of like mm, looking at all the other couples posting their pajama pics and all this other stuff. And you could be feeling some type of way. Okay, that calm driving make you feel some type of way. I don't even know who's saying that. Okay, but some type of way. Okay, someone's feeling some type of way about something. Okay, um... I don't know why I'm getting Cardi B, okay? I feel like play your cards right, okay? Tupac, play your cards right, all right? And Cardi B is a Libra, okay? Someone's definitely, like, trying to alter their body. You may be trying to get your teeth fixed or have some other type of plastic surgery, okay? And I believe that came up for y'all at one time before. Because if you look at Cardi B now, beautiful woman, but she definitely looks nothing like the Cardi B before the money and the fame, okay? But I don't know. 
play your cards right. Whatever you're thinking about doing, okay, play your cards right. I'm all for people doing whatever the hell they want to do with their life, but just make sure you're able to stand on those choices. Make sure you're able to stand on those um, consequences, okay, whether good or bad. But yeah, I'm getting that Tupac, play your cards right, Gemini type energy here. Someone could be dealing with another air sign or a Gemini, or you could be in a twin flame connection, okay, or someone um, could be finding out about some twin soon, okay, or this the Gemini is the mind, the confliction of the mind, okay, Libra, I feel like you're just, you can't make up your mind about what you want, okay, what do you want, okay, when you, if you ever saw the notebook when Noah looks at Allie and she just came over and made love to him and then she decided she was going to go back to her fiance and he's screaming and yelling at her. He's like, what do you want? God, stop caring about what other people want. What do you want? And she don't know what she wants. She's confused. You're confused, Libra. Okay. You don't know what you want. All right. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know what this song is. Um, I, sh I think this is Mariah Carey. I shouldn't have walked the way I would have stayed If you said we could have made everything okay But we just threw the blame back and forth We treated love like a sport The final blow hit so low I'm still on the ground Yeah, that final blow hit hard, Libra That final blow hit hard Mm. Look what their card says. I tried. I feel like if you know you gave something, you're all Libra. You, you just gotta let the truth reveal itself to you in due time. In due time. All right, let's see what your clarifiers are for this week. Libra, I told y'all there's a reconciliation. That man loves you, Libra, okay? Or that woman loves you. They might just be a little crazy. All dogs go to heaven, okay? Yeah, you might need to, someone could have a dog or someone could have a pet that passes away or someone could have some type of dog business or you could be dealing with a dog in Chinese astrology. This could be someone born in 1982. Mm. But all dogs go to heaven. Go watch that movie. It's about a dog getting a second chance. Somebody's getting a second chance at something. Either you're giving someone a second chance or someone's giving you a second chance. Something significant about Friday. Your inner me, okay? You need to focus on the inside. You may want to, you know, get all this cosmetic surgery and change the outside but you need to focus on the inside yeah t-rex okay this is like um what's the word i'm looking for like you don't want to fuck with t-rex okay if you get my drip so i don't know either you're walking you're barking up the wrong tree or something you may need to diet libra okay you need to diet you need to get your life in order you need to let go of some things Yeah. Some of you could be, like I said, that dog business. You could have a business partner where you guys are teaming up to do like some type of business involving dogs or something for some of y'all. Or some of you just, whoever this person is, you're meant to go into business together. You see that? I'm letting everything go. You got to let it all go, Neo. I'm going to do five more. Prometheus. I believe that's that movie with Sanaa Lathan. Could be wrong. Yeah. Pest control. Okay. You need, to get, you need to clean up your act. You need to get yourself together. Okay. There's something about Mary. Okay. Two more. Something about 2003. And last but not least, 
been trying to let go, but I can't. Didn't I tell you that? I told you that in the beginning of your reading, Libra. That it's it's some you you got some type of soul tie going on. All right, that's what I got for y'all this week. Peace.